Hey, this is Mark Nelson. I want to welcome you to today's show. I have an on stinking believable interview today with Melissa Elvis. She has a great story and what she is trying to do to help women is just unbelievable. So without further ado, here is today's interview. Melissa, I am so glad you're on this podcast. So you and I met in a launch and scale unbelievable group because it helped so many people get going, but it also got so many people networking and meeting new people and trying to help each other out. So I wanted to get you on here to hear your story. Now you're not originally from here. No, I'm not. And where did you come from? Well, thank you, Mark. I appreciate you um, joining me here today because I truly believe that there is a, um, a power in connection. And when I originally saw you on, on, um, on the lunch and scale, I was like, I'm going to be friends with that guy. Ah. I, be- I believe that there's power in connection. And when, when people officially, like, I'm so glad that you put this out there, you know, because when we officially do this, then, we, then there's power in that. So thank you for, for this. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, as far as where I'm originally from, I am from Peru. Uh, I, I came here when I was five. My folks, you know, uh, back in the night, uh, yeah, in the early nineties, they, um, they weren't doing so great over in Peru, you know, the challenges economically and, um, they just decided the American dream to bring our family here. And, you know, a lot of people think that like in our country, think that money falls off from trees and that is not the case. <laughs> But what a cool story. I mean, how brave were your parents just to come here? I think that's really neat. And I, I'm sure they had a struggle because this is a... Not easy at all. <laughs> not easy at all. They, they had to find their way. It's like, holy cow. As, yeah. we, as we do today. <laughs> yes, everybody does. We all do. Correct. Yes. Cool. Well, I'm glad you're here. So how long ago did you get into being an entrepreneur? What was that journey like? Oh, well, that's a fun one for sure. <laughs> so I've been in the personal development space for more than 15 years. Yeah. I love everything to do with our personal growth, you know, yeah. and uh, in the last year and a half now, um, it all started with me introducing self-development to my 13, well, at that time he was 12, to my 12-year-old son. Uh, and I was like, you know, I had already had given him um, the Robert Kiyosaki book, oh, cool. uh, you know, uh, um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and he read that. But then I was like, okay, what next book do I give him? Like, I didn't want to introduce like a meaty book. I wanted like a storyline behind it and with a message, right? Mm-hmm. Something for him to understand and not want to just put the book aside, right? Right. So I started looking into, looking into different um things online about it. And I came across a, a, a young boy that had um, written books himself and they were short and sweet. And I was like, oh, okay, oh, cool. this looks interesting. So we did, I ordered the books, seven books, and all these books basically come from the big books, the, the, um, the Dale Carnegie books, uh, like all these and um, how to win friends and influence people, you Mm -hmm. know, but just easy enough for a child to read, interpret and put into action. So in one of those books, um, similar to, it was like a money mindset book. Okay. Uh, Was something to do with um, click funnels and, uh, and a challenge. And I was like, what is this like, in marketing and like business, you know, like it, 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 and I'm like, okay, okay, let's look into this. So I looked into it and I got introduced to what is called a 30 day challenge of OFA one funnel away. One funnel away. Yes. Are you familiar? I am. I've done Excellent. One. Excellent. So for, for the listeners that don't know what one funnel away means is a 30 day challenge. I call it the master of business education (laughs) in 30 days. Okay. That's what I call it because in, in all aspect, um, when I went through that, I fell in love with the first week, which was your pre-week, 
which was all this right here, yeah. our mind, yes. you know, like, hello. It, what I was like, this guy knows what he's talking about because he's introducing a program, a business program with our mindset. Yes. You know, it was just like, okay, I'm liking him already, you know? <laughs> And who I'm talking about is this guy, Russell Brunson, creator and founder of ClickFunnels, which is a platform, a software platform that helps you market any type of business. You know, I'm, uh, so I lay it out for your listeners, you know. Uh, <laughs> because not all people have seen it, they ever heard about it, which is uh, the best. That first week was pretty intense. Oh, yes. So, um, so that's where my journey began, you know, as far as the online space as an entrepreneur. Previous to that, I had um, been in, in MLMs and, um, and that, that, um, that type of business is amazing as well because they work on your self-development and your leadership. And, uh, and then I was in marketing because that's what I went to school for, business administration and marketing. And I've always had that, that love you know, for people, and for helping them. So um, once I really dug deep and found out what my true passion was, it all came to be. It was like, it all came, it all made sense then. So for so many years, I've always been coaching people, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and I would attract people. And I was like, okay. I never thought about it. It's a gift, you know, it's a gift that you have and then you just have to unwrap it. <laughs> but one day it just came all to be, I was like, I really enjoyed doing all of these things. And I have been doing it all along these years, you know? Yes. So let's bring this into the online space. So that's what I have been doing. Oh, that is really exciting. I started MLM too. And I tell you, it was, uh, I first started, I was in business in, in retail and we closed that. You know how life keeps giving you dings. And Always. When I joined MLM, they had me read Tony Robbins' book, Awaken the Giant Within. And I, it just blew me away. It's like, I, I've never read anywhere that people telling me that I could, was good. Everybody kept knocking you down. It was just amazing. I didn't do very good at MLM though, but it's, <laughs> I found out I was an introvert. Ah. You know, I, I teach, I, I, I'm great at meeting people and uh, talking conversations, but to go meet brand new people and throwing a pitch out at them wasn't me. Uh, hmm. And I know well, that people do it differently and now they have the internet with a lot of funnels out there. With, yeah. Well, I have to say that you have, you have grown, my friends, because <laughs> <laughs> from when that was to now, because look at us today. Yes. Would you have imagined doing this? No, not, not at all. Not at all. It's uh, to, to get, go outside of comfort, right? And yes. Asking people to come on a podcast and interview. And, um, it, it wouldn't have been me. Right. So, <laughs> hey, everyday growth, my friends. And I always say, if we can grow an inch a day and just be better than one inch better than yesterday, then we're growing. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you said you're a coach, you're an online coach now. Empowerment coach for women. And, oh. and also, um, I, I strategically help them with their marketing. Oh, cool. I, you know what I see in, in here and correct me if I'm wrong. i see a, a lot of, um, I follow Jenna Kircher. I don't know if her love her. Yes. Yes. And, uh, I have a, a daughter who's a chiropractor. There's a ton of very strong women that are reaching out to help women. And I'm going, hey, I, I want to join. Oh. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> because there, you have so much feeling with it. I think, you know, men kind Connection. of. Connection. Yeah, yeah. We just come out and give facts and kick you in the butt and say, <laughs> gosh, I hear some of these women in Amy Porterfield. I listen to her podcast. Like, you guys are amazing. I'm following you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. But I believe that there's an audience for everybody, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and everybody has a gift to share. So if you, if you like a specific, uh, a specific, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Like, uh, 
it just yeah. it just came out <laughs> but like you know chemistry like you follow somebody because of their um information or their energy or what they have to to give you know so there's an audience for everybody oh there really is there really is one of my first mentors was toby no i lost his last name you say you can't get a name of it toby <laughs> that one. okay and I, I saw him on a summit. Um, I, I was with MLSP for a while, and I, I, they had a summit, and I, I listened to all these great speakers, and uh, and he came on, and there was no fluff. I mean, he was a he played in a rock band. He's if you watch him, gosh, I, no, I'm mad. Black. Totally there you go. Him. There you go. <laughs> and, and they're all tatted up, which means nothing, but we're different eras. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just connected. He was one of my first coaches. It's a, and I laugh because there is no. Uh, there's no boundaries on anything. <laughs> uh -huh. No, there isn't. <laughs> and that's the that's the beauty of it all. Because when when I when I um realized that like branding, a lot of people talk about branding, right? Yes. But when you realize branding is you, yes, it's you. You're gonna attract the, the people. It's not your logo. It's not a color scheme. It is you and how you talk and how you connect with people and how you put yourself out there in front of people. Absolutely. Absolutely. So in your coaching program, do you do one-on-one? -on -one? Do you do group coaching? Do you do masterminds or do you do them all? <laughs> so right now it is uh, group coaching and uh, some one-on-ones uh, -on -ones as well. But in the future, I'm definitely wanting to do some masterminds. Oh, cool. I, you know, I, um, I was on a mastermind and, and I kind of, uh, there's, I was one of these people who would buy courses or get involved in things and I go about halfway through and then I lose interest and I'd be gone. But it, that mastermind is pretty cool. Well, that's, that is neat. You know, See, I'm glad it, that you mentioned that Mark, I'm sorry, no uh, way. about courses is like I mentioned before that there's an audience for everybody. But if I can, if I, I've noticed this myself, and this is my personal opinion, is that courses lack one thing. Mm -hmm. And that one thing is connection, accountability, that direction of, okay, I've done a month into this course. Now what do I do? Right. It's like, like you get stuck, right? So that's why I think there's power in programs because it brings, it unifies people, you know, a community of people. And it, it has that, that special connection, that accountability portion of it. Now, I think that courses might work well once you're at the top of your game, you know, and probably um, you want to be able to, all those programs that you've created already, you can kind of like put as an evergreen course, you know, um, down the road. And and within that, people could kind of like make small little connections, you know, within the community. But in, in the beginning, I definitely think it's, it's best for people to have that one-on-one -on -one connection and, and accountability. I do too. I, I really do. Because it's a, in a lot of the courses that are coming out where they'll, um, they have a course, but then they also have a Facebook group. Uh -huh. People get involved. And that's where I seem to do well. Because, like, again, I connect with some people. Yes, yes. I try to help, but I also ask questions of them. Like, how are you, how is this working for you? Where are you headed with this? And, right. And the support. I agree. So, Melissa, if people want to get a hold of you, where can they get a hold of you? I would love to connect with everybody. And they could find me in my Facebook page. Uh, Melissa Alves, or oh, mind you, I have to share that because there's a lot of Melissa Alveses. <laughs> <laughs> Think about being Mark Nelson. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I love hanging out in my Facebook. Um, I call us the sister tribe because we are a group of women that want to not only become better, a better version of ourselves, but also be able to help other women along the way. Oh, I bet it's a great tribe. I really do. I actually saw that on your, your Facebook page and I thought, you know, they're there again. Yeah. It's two women. You're, you know, you're teaming up against us. No, never. I don't ever think that. You know, when I originally started my podcast, Mark, 
Mm -hmm. Um, The reason for my podcast was to share everyone's stories because I believe, I truly, truly believe that if we can share a story and help one individual that's listening, that I have made my little footprint in the world. Oh, that's beautiful. What is your podcast called? No, don't don't make fun of me. <laughs> the, it's called The Power Within with Courageous Women. Oh. Well, you're a courageous woman. Thank you. But you come from courageous parents. See, it all stems, right? Oh, yes, yes. Those roots, you know, the foundations. Oh, cool. So I'll put those links in the description. This awesome. has been really fun. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mark. You have a wonderful day. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. Wasn't that an amazing interview? I had so much fun talking to Melissa. She is just going to be a powerhouse in this industry. And she's going to help so many people. You can find her on Facebook. And because she has a common name, it's facebook.com, melissa.m.lvs. And I'll put it in the show notes. She has a powerhouse group that is female business coaches. So you can find it at facebookgroups.com forward slash groups forward slash female business coaches. If you get to her main Facebook page, you'll see a link for it that you can go over there too. Now you can also follow her on her podcast, The Power Within with Courageous Women. Man, I hope you had as much fun as I did today. This woman is going to help a ton of people. Y'all take care.